Hey everybody, it's Cardfighter Hunter here, and today I have another deck for sale video. This time it is Bermuda Triangle, uh, Aurora Star Coral. Uh, it's a ride chain, it's the new newest ride chain, um, and it's a very, very good deck, and um, it's getting a cross ride soon. Uh, Coral's getting a cross ride, and I've been testing the cross ride deck, and the cross ride deck in itself is amazing, amazing. It just gets so many pluses, it's ridiculous. Um, but for now, I'm running it with uh, the Break Ride Vert, um, and that also gives amazing pluses, so uh, let's get into the deck profile. Uh, three Aurora Star Coral. Um, it's, uh, I, I, I don't actually like riding her until late game, until I can Break Ride, so that's why I'm running only three of her. Um, I can search the top seven when I ride uh, the Grade 1 for her, but... Um, to be honest, I would rather get stuck on Vert than on Coral because you can just keep break riding, break riding, and getting uh, get cheap pluses that way. Whereas this is a bit more um, specialized, I guess, uh, for lack of a better word, where it's counter boss two to get 5k and soul charge and shit. So um, I really enjoy this card, and uh, it gets another uh, plus 1k when uh, the grade two Corals in the soul. Uh, secondly, I'm running. Uh, four of the break ride prism image vert. Um, when you break ride, you can draw a card. Well, you do draw a card, and then you bounce uh, two of your Bermuda Triangle rear guards. Um, so you add them back to your hand, and during your turn, if you have uh, four more Bermuda rear guards, she gets 3k when she attacks. Um, so that's not really relevant, but it can make 21k columns if you have a Sedna behind her. So that's pretty nice. Um, so the break ride's really, really good. Um, makes so many pluses, so many pluses. Um, if you break ride and then bounce a clear end of Rio, then you just get, s oh my god, it's great. Um, great juice, uh, four of the, uh, shiny star coral. Um, when her attack hits a vanguard, if, uh, you, you can bounce a Bermuda in the front row and back to your hand, and then if you have the grade one, uh, grade one coral in your soul, you can bounce a back row. So, uh, one thing I like to do is, if they crit you, and you have a Rio in your hand, then you can ride this, and then bounce um, two Rios, and counter blast two, soul charge two, and draw two cards. Not in that order, of course, because you have to resolve them one at a time, but it's, um, you, you get, you just get four cards back to your hand. So, <laughs> it's a little uh, funny if you can manage to pull that off. Uh, but the odds are of that, uh, the odds of that happening, it requires two Rios in your hand, and I'm only running three, um, so it doesn't happen a whole lot, but it can happen. Uh, it's happened to me before. Uh, three Girls Rock Rio counter boss one. Uh, when she's bounced, you can uh, soul charge one and draw a card. So basically, when you break ride, you can draw a card, bounce her, soul charge, draw a card, and then if the other unit you bounce has uh, um, an ability when you bounce it, then you can resolve that as well, and like clear or Celtic give uh, 4k. Um, so I'm running two Prism Promise Celtic, so last one when she's bounced to give something 4k. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, I like using this when I run out of counter blasts if I don't have enough counter blasts to do the Coral Rio. Um, uh, combo, which is Counter Blast 3, which is kind of crazy, but you do get some insane pluses off of it. So, um, I only run two of her, uh, because, uh, I don't actually use her all that much. Um, I'd prefer to bounce Rio or something. Um, I'm running one Pearl Sisters Pearl Soul Blast 1 when her attack hits a Vanguard and bounce a, uh, Bermuda back to your hand. So, this is very good. Um, I very much enjoy, uh, this card. Uh, it's there for utility, pretty much. S that's about it. And then I'm running two Prism Image, uh, Rosa, which is, if you have a Bermuda with Limit Break 4, uh, gets 3k when she attacks, so she's an 11k attacker. Basically just there to hit cross rides. Um, I am running two of the old art Ellie and two of the new art Ellie. Uh, the old arts are actually going for more, um, which doesn't surprise me because reprints are generally cheaper. Um, not much to say about perfect arts, perfect arts, and perfect arts. Uh, four of the grade one for the 
ride chain when you uh, when a grade two other than the coral grade two rides her you can search the top seven cards of your deck for uh the grade two coral and superior ride it if it is there two prism image clear same thing as celtic so last one when she's bounced to give something 4k um so that's pretty good actually it can make um really good uh rear guard columns and then for uh Sedna, it's basically she's just there for uh I'm sorry i'm sort of stuttering a lot today i'm really tired right now um what was it what was the point i was gonna make oh you can put this behind a rio and ha make a 16k column with that so that's that's it for the grade ones and then um grade zeros are pretty standard uh, Angelic Star Coral, um, when you ride the grade 1, search the top 7 for the grade 2. 4 crits, another 4 crits, 4 fundy, um, she's the Margul clone, so you can put her in soul and give something 4, or 3k, and then 4 heals. So, trigger's pretty much standard. Um, so that's the deck. I am selling it for, uh, $150 USD, um, uh, shipped to anywhere in North America or Canada if you sh uh, if you're outside of North America or Canada uh, talk to me it, I, I'll still sell it to you but it'll be a bit more because shipping costs will go up quite a bit um, so that's about it I'm looking for PayPal I'm not really looking for trades for Vanguard at the moment because I'm trying to get all my resources into buddy fight um, so if you buy any of the decks that I'm selling you will be supporting um, this channel. I can guarantee that if this deck sells, I will buy two boxes of set two of Buddy Fight. I can guarantee it. Um, that will that will pay for two boxes. Um, what else do I have to say? Uh, PayPal is preferred, uh, although I don't mind uh, concealed cash as long as you're in the U.S. Um, obviously, concealed cash from anywhere other than the U.S. is kind of a problem because I can't use that currency um, unless I go to that country, which is not very likely. Um, uh, so PayPal is preferred because it does automatically exchange currencies. So that's the deck. Uh, thanks for watching. If you're interested, you can uh, drop a comment here in YouTube or send me um, a message uh, to my Twitter account. So just hit me up, and uh, or if you're uh, friends with me on Skype, you can just send me a direct message there. So thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you uh, consider buying this deck because it's a very, very good deck. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.